Here we go. What do you reckon? First cab off the rank. Mate, we're going to be riders, rain. Look, we've got the biggest caravan in the fleet. It's got the most overhang. It's probably the one, if anything's going to go wrong, it'll go wrong with this one. But So it's a good crash test, dummy. Yeah, good thing it's the first one. How are you feeling, mate? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Yeah, yeah. excited. Ready let's, to go. Let's get it done. Let's do it. All right, he's ready. He's keen. Let's go. I'll go three, two, one. Go, go, go. Well, here we go, mate. Yep. Now, the thing about off-roading is it isn't a race. Yep. Safety is most important. I reckon one challenge that they're going to have is alongside the river, it gets a little bit tight. Yep. Those wheels, especially the near side wheels, are going to have to get fairly close to the embankment leading down into the river. It's quite a wide wheelbase, so this will be interesting. Hey, Ben, let us know once you get down to the river. Uh, interested to know just uh, what the clearance is, especially around that tree. Yeah, we'll be uh, keeping a very close eye on it and we're about to go over that first lump, which is an absolute doozy for a long caravan with a bit of overhang. Here we go. OK, good luck. I actually think that's going to be a bit of a test. Some of the lumps and bumps on this course, Geordie, will show us some uh, canting left and right, some articulation, a bit of suspension work. So pretty excited. I'm really curious to see how it goes around that tree alongside the river. Bear's a bit of an expert at long things with overhang, so this will be good to see. <laughs> I'm going to assume you're talking about his uh, boating career. <laughs> that is correct. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. How good is that? <laughs> that makes me feel a lot more confident because we've got a really nasty sharp one when we leave this beautiful little bit of riverbank here. Isn't this a magnificent riverbank here? It's just beautiful. Amazing. How are you going there, Bear? Mate, we're going well. Going well. Just going over that really nasty lump at the moment. Keep going straight. All right, we made it, Max. We actually got a little bit lodged there for a minute. Just backed up down the uh, down the lump just a little bit, and we got through. So how about that? All right, well, that's uh, a bit of a relief, mate. I was just saying to Geordie that with the overall length of the combination, uh, it might have been a bit tight. All that matters is we got through it. We got through it. Well done. Hey, mate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've got an upgrade on this as well. We've gone to Cruise Master. That's right. It's got a Cruise Master XT coil suspension, yep. uh, 3.5 ton ATM from a Tough Ride suspension. And a DO35 coupling as well. Yes. So you've got the best of the off road gear available there. Uh, we're just uh, turning out, mate, uh, at the gate, and we're about to go and find some uh, wombat holes and long grass. How are you guys the luck? Mate, we're going really well. I mean, we've got 21 foot six of caravan here. We've got, uh, what, 2.8 tonne yep. tear weight. And one thing you've got going for you, of course, is you've got some decent ground clearance. And that's absolutely vital, no doubt about it. I was a little bit concerned about the recovery angle because it's so long between the rear wheel and the back of the caravan, but the recovery angle seems to be just fine. OK, well, let us know how you go in the valley. Uh, I reckon there's a bit of a challenge there for you as well. Ah, yes, I know what you're talking about. All right, we've come through with flying colours so far, mate. I'm putting you through it, aren't I? <laughs> there it is, the trickiest part, but my favourite part of the trip. It's your favourite part? Yeah. This is where they really test their different angles, arrival angles, departure angles. And that there is a bit of, uh, you know, driver skill involved in this. That's right, you've got to be super careful. It's actually a little bit more gnarly here than what you think, isn't it? It is. Yep. It's a bit deceptive. It is, absolutely. All right, what are you guys up to now? We're just doing the loop through the valley, mate, and then we're coming back to see the finish line. yippee yahoo And the good news is the caravan is all in one piece. <laughs> well, it is for now. <laughs> we're just killing it out here, mate. How good's this? That's fantastic news. How's he feeling? Well, mate, he's talking about going for a lap around the country now. <laughs> Oh, we've inspired him. And I'll tell you what, for the biggest caravan in the field, the rest of them are going to be going. You know, we've certainly set the pace for them. Here we go, through to the finish line, mate. Hey, you don't want to finish, do you? Yeah, you want to keep going. <laughs> this is a beautiful little archway of, of trees we're coming through here. Yeah. It's just beautiful. lovely. It looks brilliant, doesn't it's it? It's a really looks nice looking caravan, I reckon. Fantastic, yeah. Give me yahoo, Kai! Hey, <laughs> look at us go! So what do you reckon, Bear? Mate, sensational. I'm really, really quite surprised. As I said, this thing has come through it with absolute flying colours. 
And so is mate over here. He's. Uh, I think he's a dedicated off roader now. <laughs> Best looking man in the caravan industry. And mate, the van looks fantastic too. It does. It does. Love those decals. But mate, I got it to you. At the end of the day, most impressed with the whole setup and the driving, it was great. But I'll tell you what, I'd really like to have a good look around the whole unit, get under it, have a real nitty gritty onto it, and I want to see what's inside. So what do you reckon, mate? How about we go and park her up and we'll have a good look through? Yeah, let's do it. Let's check the inside. Luxon, wasn't that a load of fun on the road? Oh, that was amazing. It yeah. was. The caravan, the whole rig performed absolutely beautifully. Even with the longer overhang with the bigger caravan, we got through all that absolutely unscathed. Did it beautifully. Yeah, it did. It held up, yeah. In appreciation for what you've done and deluxe caravans as well, I just wanted to present you with a little trophy for being such a worthy and pleasurable participant in this year's Go RV Sirocco 2 Off-Road Challenge. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, yeah, it's been fun. Let's go and have a peek. Quality doesn't have to be flash, does it? It just needs to be poignant. There's a lot of features on this as well, from stone screens to plenty of toolboxes, the storage tubs. Everything on the exterior is just terrific. But the interior, from a big bloke's perspective, I just love it. It's really a caravan that's made for a touring couple. If you want to take the grandkids along, there's the drop-down L-shaped lounge for that. Really, a key selling point to me is that exquisite, that great big ensuite at the back. Yep. It's a beauty, isn't it? It is. It's massive. I mean, you've got plenty of storage. You have a washing machine, angled shower. You've got everything that you want. Plenty of storage for not only your cosmetics and your toiletries and all the rest of it, plenty of storage for all the rest of your gear as well. Big bench space is always a big one for me too. And don't those benches look great in that new laminate? Gee, it looks good. Yeah, it does. We wanted to sort of try something new. Yep. All the big components in, in your standard unit, electronics, BM Pro? Yeah, BM Pro, 2170 watt solar panels. You got two lithium batteries, 100 amps each. It's the biggest caravan we've had here. So I would have thought it might have had a little bit more difficulty getting <laughs> around the track, but it didn't. I think you've just done the whole job beautifully. Yeah, it's, it's done great as everything stayed in place. So the suspension did its job as well. You know, when you're spending this kind of money, you want it to be pristine. Look, Sean, thank you for showing us around the van and thank you for taking us around the track. It's been an absolute pleasure to meet you. This has been my first experience with Deluxe Caravans and I hope it's not my last. Mm -hmm.